While Tesla is higher today, Nikola shares are tumbling after a short seller called the company, quote, an intricate fraud built on dozens of lies. Phil LeBeau joins us now with the uh, details. Some fairly harsh words there, Phil. Oh, harsh words, Tyler. And that quote that you read came from Hindenburg Research. This is the report on Nikola. It's fairly hefty. We're not going to go through all of the allegations that they made against uh, Nikola, but it basically comes down to this. They say they, the company has made false statements, it has rigged its truck reveals, and it's had misleading demonstrations, specifically revolving around the hydrogen fuel cell class uh, seven, eight, or class eight semi truck uh, that it, it plans to build over in Europe. And this is the video. Uh, this is one of the key points that they make saying, look, this is really not video of the truck running. They pulled it to the top of the hill. They pushed it down. In response to this report, the chairman of Nikola, Trevor Milton, says, cowards run, leaders stay and fight for integrity. Hindenburg is only making people love us more for trying to destroy us. It will take the rest of the day to address the one-sided false claims, but I will put out a detailed report to address it. In the meantime, troll on. You know that he's going to continue saying something on Twitter because that is one of his main ways of communicating when he thinks that somebody's taking a shot at his company. As you take a look at Nikola, they've pretty much given almost everything back from when they made the announcement of the deal with General Motors. Remember, they're going to be working with GM, building an electric pickup truck, the Nikola Badger. Speaking of General Motors, its stock has essentially given up everything that it gained uh, once that announcement was made. And when we reached out to General Motors... Remember, they're taking an 11% stake in Nikola. A spokesperson for the company said, look, we stand by the statements that were made on the day of the announcement. Uh, at the end of the day, this is going to come down to whether or not somebody, can, you know, somebody has some kind of a smoking gun or if this is going to be one more short seller who makes an allegation and then over time it kind of fades away. I, I mean, I, uh, apart from the fact that I, one wonders about trusting a short seller who goes by the name Hindenburg, which uh, creates all <laughs> kinds of uh, sort of visual illusions that I don't like to right. contemplate right here. How much, if any, of the decline in those stocks, which you showed so graphically there since the announcement earlier this week, would you attribute to short sellers? Or is it just people losing the, the initial enthusiasm and buzz? Or is it just, hey, the market's been moving downward, too, so what would you expect? Well, there's a little bit of the market moving down that has, uh, has certainly weighed on shares of both General Motors and Nikola. Uh, but the short selling, uh, my sense is from what we've seen that there are more short sellers that are moving in on Nikola. Mm -hmm. And that's not a surprise, given the fact that Nikola is much like Tesla. The shorts have come out and they've said, look, we don't buy into this. We don't buy into the mm -hmm. hype. You, mm -hmm. you have a company that barely has any revenue here. We think it is ripe to fall at some point in the future. So that definitely is a factor as well. Phil, thanks very much. Phil LeBeau.